Well, hello there. Yes. Welcome back to Broken World Entertainment. And we are going to talk Andor. Everybody's favourite Mexican Star Wars character. Woohoo! Because talk about how to alienate an audience before the show even drops. What did they say the show is going to be about? The Trumpian world. Yep. One of the actresses, she, uh, Fiona Shaw, <laughs> describes it as a take on the Trumpian world. And that it's a, a whole new morality. Who knew that, as Gary from Nerd Rodder likes to call him, and <laughs> I can't get over because it it's hilarious, Juan Solo, <laughs> Andor, Cassian Andor, isn't it? Yeah, Cassian is his first name, isn't it? Who knew that dude was going to go out there and make the galaxy great again? How warped are these nutballs? It, it's a take on Trump. The guy hasn't been in office since, what, 2020? Like, Jesus, get over it already. <laughs> oh my God. Why? And they're talking about colonialism and all this bullshit as well for this show. Look, nobody was excited for this show in the first place. Nobody asked for it. Nobody wanted it. Who wants a show about a dead character? This unlikable character as well. He was one of the worst characters in Rogue One. The thing people liked was the droid K2SO. Who is not in this show, by the way. It'll probably show up in the very last episode, the last minute or something. You'll see him get it. Because the show is set over a period of five years. So it time jumps in the show. Yippee. How stupid are they? Let's make a show. On. I swear to God. Please let it happen. Oh, please let it happen. There has to be a January 6th take in this show. Because we know the Senate is in this. Please let there be a space reference to January 6th. <laughs> Just to really show how stupid they are. Oh my God. Talk about not knowing your audience. Jesus Christ. We're going to make it about Trump. And colonialism and. We're going to make it a whole new morality, yeah. With Juan Solo. No one cares. No one's interested in this show. Like, come on. <laughs> Andor, Cassian Andor, huh? Oh, and they revealed that this dipshit infiltrates the Empire and works on the Death Star's weapon system codenamed and the project that he's working on is called Stardust you know the name Urso's father gave her the nickname and that he named the flaw in the Death Star after so what when they were standing there on that planet getting the plans and she said Stardust Juan Solo over here didn't turn around and go, Hey, you know what? I worked on a project called that. That's Jesus Christ. These people are idiots. Who's Who actually is excited for this show? What? Three people on Twitter? <laughs> hey, good luck with that one. And of course, if it fails, it'll be, Oh, it's because you are all Trump supporters and you're alt-right and you're racist and no, you're build a wall of all this bullshit oh Jesus Christ <laughs> Star Wars strikes again huh you're on to another winner Jeez. all right I'll leave it there for this one because there's not much else to say about this tragedy <laughs> cheers see you in the next one